Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your live blood glucose readings from either your Libre or your Dexcom onto the lock screen of your phone, including a graph of where your blood sugars have been for the past four hours. This is obviously great if you yourself have type 1 diabetes or you're a parent, guardian, friend, carer of someone else with type 1 diabetes. As long as they are happy to give you the information for your account, you can see their blood glucose values on your lock screen. Should also mention this app is completely free. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just the app that I use to view my CGM readings on my lock screen. My phone is slightly older, so mine displays as a live activity. For newer iPhones, you can actually get it in the dynamic island as well. We'll talk through it all today. I should say that whilst it runs on most iPhones, I think you need to be running iOS 17.2 or newer for the live activities to show. Be sure to subscribe down below and please give this video a like if it's helpful for you and you find it interesting. I will show you how to do this for both Libre and for Dexcom. I'll put the timestamps of each one down below so you can just click directly to whichever one you use. Okay, we're going to start with Libre. So if you open up your normal Libre app, you go to the menu at the top and you scroll all the way down to the bottom to connected apps. If you don't already have Libre Link Up set up, you're just going to do it here. So in connected, manage next to Libre Link Up. You might see, already see your name here. If you don't, then all you do is just add a connection, put your first name, last name, and an email. And what this will do is then send an email, probably to yourself, I'm assuming, since that's going to be the email that you use to sign up for Libre Link. What this does, if you go to Libre Link Up, after signing in, you'll just see the same things that are on your original Libre app. However, this is in the cloud. So this is where all the information is sent. This is what's needed to display it on your lock screen. So make sure you know your username and password because you're going to need to put it in the next app. The app you're going to want to download to display your blood glucose values on your phone is called a Gluru. So head to the app store, type in Gluru and click download. Once you've downloaded the app, you're going to want to set up your profile. There's various things you need to fill in, like your name, your age, why you want to use it, etc. Just keep on filling that out until you get to the select your CGM part. And then you're going to get to the end screen where you can actually sign in. I'm just going to sign in with Google because I've got a Google account. It's a bit easier for me. And that's me verified and I'm in. So I'm just going to press continue and begin. So what I'm going to do now is connect my CGM. So if you're a Libre user, you use your Libre link up account and password here. If you're a Dexcom user, you just use your standard Dexcom email and password here. Then it should connect up to the cloud using either of those ones. Now, hopefully that's your CGM all connected to the app. The app does a variety of things. We're just going to focus on the lock screen thing for just now. So this is the Gluru app. If you click on your blood glucose, the top right hand corner, you can kind of see a little graph of what your blood glucose levels are doing. What we're going to do is go to the settings. So we're going to go to the menu button on the top right hand corner and click settings. Here, we're just going to simply go to notification system settings. This will then take you to your settings for the app on your phone. Here, we're going to go down to the one of the bottom ones and click on live activities. So once you're in live activities, you're just going to turn them both on if they're not already on, then go back to Gluru. And then hopefully if you show your lock screen, it would then just be displayed at the bottom. One thing to remember though, with all these live activities, you will need to keep on going back into the app, I think once every eight hours for it to continue showing. So sometimes if you wake up in the morning, for example, it might not be in your lock screen. You just need to open Gluru and it'll go back into it there. Another thing to remember with the live activities is it can drain your battery slightly faster than you used to. It's not really a problem for me because I charge my phone at night. I even charge it when I'm at work. So I never really drop below 80% of my phone. But just keep that in mind. If your live activity is on all day, it can drain your battery. There are a couple of other things you can do here. If you go to notifications and allow notifications, you can also set the badges to be on, which will just display your blood glucose value as a badge for like the number of notifications that you would get. So I'm at 9.9, .9, so it says 9,900 up here. I don't really like that. I can turn that off. I don't really like having any red bubbles showing up on my phone. And that's it. So hopefully now you've got your live activity working. You can see a graph of your blood glucose levels on your lock screen of your phone. Let me know down below if it worked for you or if you have any issues, we can try and get them sorted. As I said before, please, please subscribe. It really does help me out and give this video a like. Thanks a lot.